Hey, what's up, guys? This is Greg from youproblog.com, and in this video, I'm gonna actually continue on the previous video, which was how to make money online with your blog part two, uh, part one. So this is gonna be how to make money online with your blog part two. Um, in part one, I showed you guys how to create a, a blog with a blogger and how to set it up by using your keywords and stuff like that. But um, if you haven't done this yet, read it and watch the video and pay a lot of attention to step 3, okay guys? So, even if, if you've read it already, read uh, step 3 again, really important. Alright, let's start. So, first of all, I want you, I want you guys to go to um, Blogger, Login, and go to your dashboard, right? So, as you can see, I have a couple of blogs here that I use as test... Um, blogs for my tutorial so uh, let's go to set it to the setting page of um, your blog that you wanna customize right so let's click on settings and go to the basic page well it will take you will actually take you to the basic page anyway uh, basic page anyway um, so as you can see the title that's what you've done earlier already description I want you guys to type here a little description of your blog while using your main keywords as well so use like two to four sentences and use some keywords in the sentences as well that are related to your blog alright so I want you guys to save this and then you need to go to formatting and show normally it will say seven for you change this into one and then save it the reason why is that it will only show one post when you're on your uh, main page of the blog and the reason why is that it has to do with keywords but I will explain this later with uh, the SEO video and the Google AdSense videos as well so just uh, you know until now just do this and save it and then I want you guys to go to post and I want you to post your first post so just type the title by using keywords just um, type some content and really important the first sentence guys I want you guys to use pretty much the same sentence as in your title so kinda repeat it but don't use exactly the same just put something similar with the same keywords and I want you to hi highlight it with bold and with italic and uh, in the in the um, when when you click no you need to stay in the H at the HTML I I want you to put here in front of the sentence I want you to put this H2 and let's say this is a sentence and at the end of the sentence I want you to do this H2 with a forward slash don't forget this this will actually make your sentence bigger let's have a look as you can see and uh, what am I doing? And here you just type whatever by using your keywords. And and every keyword that you will actually use, well, not every keyword, but if let's say you have three paragraphs like this, let's say this is a paragraph and this is another paragraph as well, and then we have a third paragraph. Right. So let's say you have three paragraphs as well. Um, let's say that this is your keyword I want you to make it bold and italic as well and let's say here you have a keyword again I want you to make it bold and italic and let's say that here's another one I want you to make it bold and italic again so um... oh apparently didn't work for the last one, it doesn't really matter just do this and um... that's why there we go. So I've actually highlighted my um, keywords, and what you want to do also is to, on some of them, let's say like in this paragraph, you have highlighted like two keywords. That's what I would advise you to do. Like if you have three paragraphs, like highlight two keywords per paragraph maximum, or something like that. And if this is paragraph one just link it and put for example your link of your blog right and do it with the last paragraph as well so if this is the keyword do the same 
So this will actually create a backlink on your own page, kind of, uh, which is quite important. I will explain to you guys later what backlinks are anyway, but until now, um, this is pretty much it. So don't forget here, type, type the keywords as well, so separate by comma, and there we go, keyword 1, keyword 2, keyword 3, and then publish. Then I want you guys to go to layout. Uh, okay, let's go to layout and I want you to have the block archive on the um, gadget here right so if you if normally you should have it but if you don't have it um, click on add a gadget and click on the block archive uh, gadget and it will show up here remove the about me section unless you want to keep it uh, I don't really use it alright let's have a look at the block how it looks like so as you can see this is my blog right with the navigation bar here and with my keywords that are highlighted and stuff like that so what I want you to do now is we're gonna actually remove this and how we're gonna do this is by going to the edit HTML page and this is quite easy but it will actually remove it and will make your blog looks look uh, way better until scroll down until you see variable definitions right and then use the code which is this one use this code um, you can find the code on the uh, blog post by the way on uproblog.com copy paste it in here so this is one thing so if you save it let's have a look at the blog refresh and bam it's gone so that's one thing that we want to do and then secondly uh, we want to go to we're gonna, we want to go back to the edit HTML page and until you see header wrapper and the width we're gonna change 660 into let's have a look because I don't know it by heart but it should be 820 so let's change that And what's next that we need to change? All the wrapper as well. Scroll down and change this into 850. I guess yeah. And the text align should be, you should remove this and make a uh, type left. Right. Then main wrapper we're gonna change this as well into 550 and the float should be left set on left. So Let's see. Oh, this should be right. This should be 270. And main wrapper should be floated on the left side and change this into 550. If this is correct, yes, it is. And then the last thing that we want to change is the footer, which has to be 850. So let's find the footer in here. Here we go. How much was it again? 850. And the reason why I'm doing this is actually it will make your page look better uh, for a later stage when you actually use. Let's refresh it. When you use uh, the Google Ads and stuff like that. There we go. So it looks way better now. And it, the reason why I'm also doing this is for SEO reasons, but I will explain this later. So don't. Don't worry if you don't know what SEO is. So this is pretty much it. So we've customized our blog blog page, uh, our blogger uh, website, and that's pretty much it. And now you can type, you can start typing new posts. Uh, try to get around 10 posts, guys, uh, to start with. And don't forget to use keywords, it's very important. All right, guys, so this was part two and uh, I will see you guys very soon don't forget to uh, sign up if you want to follow us on Twitter just go to uh, the Uproblog page and you can go here to the follow me section and you can just click here and it will take you to the Twitter page follow us or if you would like to, to uh, subscribe on our uh, YouTube uh, channel you can click here it will take you to the YouTube channel 
uh, or the RSS feed here. 